Hello everyone, I'm Craig Williams with your Diz Daily Fix for Friday, March 9th, 2018. Here's what's happening today. First up, D23 announced details regarding the Animal Kingdom 20th Anniversary event. D23 Gold and Gold family members will be able to purchase a 20th Anniversary Fan Celebration Pass, which will give them select benefits during this celebration on April 22nd. The $20 pass includes reserve viewing for the 20th anniversary moment at the Tree of Life, as well as a commemorative D23 digital photo, three fast passes to use anywhere but Pandora, also reserve viewing for a showing of Rivers of Light, plus an exclusive D23 gift. Also, if you want to purchase a limited VIP version of the pass for $275, it also includes those benefits as well as a VIP viewing of Festival of the Lion King, a private mix and mingle in Dino Land USA, a behind the scenes dinner in Festival of the Lion King, an additional keepsake, plus the chance to see special guests showing up for the 20th anniversary. So park admission isn't included with any of these passes and a $5 per person processing fee will also be added on to the total price tickets go on sale monday march 9th at 10 a.m for the vip passes and at 12 p.m for the regular passes next up a new artist rendering for the three newest disney cruise line ships was revealed by bob Iger during the annual shareholders meeting the three new ships will set sail in 2021 2022 and 2023. The new ships look very, very similar to the Disney Dream and Fantasy, except they look to be a bit curvier in the midship sections, but they will offer more innovation, new technologies, spectacular entertainment, and Disney stories and characters than we've ever seen before. The ships will weigh approximately 140,000 gross tons and will hold 1,250 staterooms, making them slightly larger than the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy. Can't book those yet, though, so don't try. Finally, St. Patrick's Day is almost upon us, and the Daily Poutine has brought back their Irish poutine. So the fries are covered with Guinness cheddar cheese, corned beef. Uh, They're very delicious. They'll be served daily for I don't know how long, but probably at least through St. Patrick's Day and a little bit longer. Last year, we tried out these fries and they were pretty darn good. So if you're looking to eat a lot of St. Patrick's Day themed foods at Disney Springs, this is sure to be one of your favorite stops along the way. Trust me, they're good. Now, moving over to the Diz, today's featured article comes from Jared Susi, and I probably really butchered that, but he is back with his next article about hidden gems of the Disneyland Resort, and in this part two, he looks at New Orleans Square, Adventureland, and Frontierland. So to read that great article and many more, head over to wdwinfo.com. Now, trending on the boards today is a thread that was started by poster Belle and Ariel, who was asked twice about tickets for a two-year-old during her Walt Disney World vacation and didn't like the way it made her feel. In the thread, other posters are assuring her that as long as she's being honest about her child, her child's age, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Stop over by the Disney for Families forum on disboards.com to join in on that discussion. And yeah, that's a big one. So don't feel ashamed. If your kids are two and under, don't buy them tickets. <laughs> Now today on the Diz Unplugged, you can expect two different shows. Uh, We'll have the Disney Dining Show at youtube.com slash Diz Unplugged later on today. And then, of course, on iTunes, you can find the latest episode of Connecting with Walt, where Michael and Mary Jo actually share their recent experience at the Walt Disney Family Museum for the Mouse Adventures game that they participated in. Also, just to let people know, we are still taking questions for an upcoming Connecting with Walt question and answer episode. Uh, We have a post on our facebook.com slash Diz Unplugged page where you can ask the question and Michael is asking that all questions be in by Sunday so that way he has time to go through and pick the best ones out. So you can find Connecting with Walt later on iTunes and if you have a question, head over to Facebook to ask us about it. Now, wrapping things up with the weather. Out in Anaheim today, it should be partly cloudy with a high of 71 and a low of 56. But tomorrow and Sunday, you can expect rain with a high of 64 and 73, respectively, with lows in the mid-50s. 
Here in Orlando, today will be beautiful, no clouds with a high of 71. Tomorrow, things heat up with partly cloudy skies and a high of 80 with a low of 62 before rain rolls in on Sunday with a high of 84 and a low of 65. For links to everything discussed in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. It's going to do it for me today. We'll be back with you on Monday for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great weekend, everyone.